Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a collage board. These have become more and more popular over the last few years, and especially by bloggers, to make boards that include clothes, shoes, home decor items, books, could be anything. And you can really use it to whatever your needs are. If you're a blogger and you're creating content, you have to know how to make a collage board. The good news is, they're really easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a minute. But I also wanna let you know if you're not a content creator and you just wanna use them personally to do things like plan for uh, a remodel or figure out what your fall capsule wardrobe is going to be. They don't need to be shared. They can be useful for lots of reasons. All right, let's get started. First thing I'll note is that if you have the free version of Canva, you will need to upgrade to the pro plan. I have a link below, so you do get a free trial to test this out. But if you end up buying and signing on for the year, it is about $10 a month. The first thing you're going to do is actually outside of Canva. All of the images that are gonna be included in your collage board, you should pull into a folder. Uh, I really like to use images with nothing in the background, no model. So open something up, I'm using an example of a pair of jeans in J.Crew, but open it up to fill the screen, right click and save the image as, and you'll want to make a whole folder of images for your collage board. The next thing you'll do is go to the top right hand corner of the window in Canva and click on the teal create a design button. You will want to choose your dimensions based on where you are going to have this posted. So for example, if it's an Instagram, you'll use an Instagram post. If you want to put this up in Pinterest, go ahead and type in Pinterest. I'm going to do that. Once your plain pin is open, you'll have to upload the images that you have saved. So on the far left menu, you'll see uploads, click on that, and then you will be able to scroll through and see your saved images. Here are the ones I saved for this collage board. All you need to do is click on the images once and they will appear in your board and you can resize them as you wish. What I really like to do is drag all of my images in uh, and remove the background before I worry too much about placement. It's much easier to tell what will look good once the backgrounds are removed. So I'm going to make sure that the image is selected. I can see this teal box around the, around the edges so I know that it's selected. And then I'm going to go up to this top menu and hit effects. From there, I'll see lots of different effects, but the one we're using today is the background remover. So I'll go ahead and click on that. You'll then see that the background has been removed on the image. And I might resize that a bit and move it over so that I can select the next image. And again, I'll go back up to effects, click on the background remover, and then I will simply resize and move it to the side. Okay, this is the fun part. Once we have all of our backgrounds removed, we can play around and figure out where each of these items will go. You have a lot of option with this. You can go slightly off the page if you want to. You can overlap the items to create outfits or just some extra texture in your board. So I recommend just playing around with this feature until you have everything set up the way you want it. This is the arrangement that I landed on with these items. I want to show you a couple of quick tricks. If you select one of your items, you can use this tool to move around the angles. Now you'll notice that I have some text. I want to show you how to add that. So you'll go over to your far left hand side menu and select the text option. You can use one of the font combinations, scroll through and find one that you like, or you can simply add a heading with your own font. And I should also note that Canva here 
um, I looked up as a logo in the element section. The element section is also on the far left vertical. So let's go ahead and just randomly choose a font option. So now I will just highlight these words and type in what I'd like them to say instead and change the font size if I want. Once I have a title that I want to use and I have all of my images set up, I'll be ready to export. I should note that if you're going to make a post in Instagram, you may not want to have any words at all. But if you are using your image for like to know it, reward style, on your blog, for Pinterest, you probably will want a title. So remember to use, if you have branding done, your brand fonts and colors. So you do have an option to publish directly to Pinterest. This is a pin, that's why it's offering me this suggestion. But I like to download all of my images and save them uh, because I use a program called Tailwind. So when I publish to Pinterest, uh, I'm doing it through a third-party app. So just think about what works for you. So to download, you just hit this arrow in the top and it's suggesting that I download it as a PNG. I agree with that. If, however, I'm posting to Instagram, I would probably use a JPEG because it's just not necessary to have that level of clarity and size when you're doing something for Instagram. So from there, I'll go ahead and hit download and Canva will begin saving my design. Once it is uploaded, I will save it wherever I need it to be and then go ahead and use that file. Now that you've learned how to make your own collage boards, I hope you just go nuts and make tons and tons. They're super fun, super convenient, and if you do make something that you put out publicly, share it with me, tag me in it. I'd love to see what you're making. My handle is at hammer underscore Kate on Instagram. And if you have other ideas for tutorials that you'd like to see, I would love to make them for you. So drop a line in the comments, reach out to me, shoot me a DM. Let's chat and make this as useful for you as possible. In the meantime, I do have a free gift that I'd love to give you. It's called the Success Capture System, and you can download it for free right now on my website, consultwithkate.com. I'll put the link down below so you can scoop it up real quick, and I hope you make the most of this week with all the new things you're learning.